Bright Lights Big City, a welcome to DXB today where we celebrate the entertainment landscape here. Are we a hub for entertainment in the MENA region at the moment? Are we uh, one of those centres where entertainers are coming to learn their trade? Well, that's hopefully what we're going to find out tonight. So let's see what's coming up. Lane takes us through an escape room adventure from the inventors of escape rooms at Hungarian Games. And Toy is bringing her R&B tunes to the studio to close the night. What an incredible performance we have lined up. Excited to see her in action. Interesting episode, this one, because um, I know we bang on about the fact that all of us have been here for a long, long time, but more and more people are coming to Dubai. They're coming to the region. They're putting down roots. They're looking to grow here. They might go away for a bit of education, but mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot of people come back as well. Including tons of celebrities moving here at the moment as well. Yeah, but the celebrity thing is always, the, the celebrity endorsement's always been interesting. But you know, one thing we celebrate every single night is local talent. Mm -hmm. We give people a platform to shine as well. And one thing that we definitely have seen is more and more talent using the UAE, using Dubai as a launch pad or a base in order to create as well, which is to my mind new. It's not new, there's always been creatives here, but what's new is the infrastructure for them to get a wider audience. I it's a weird one because I, I guess you, you're right in what you're saying. It's actually not weird. We know why people would come here. But take, for example, some of the movie premieres that are actually happening here as opposed to in London or New York or wherever. That that started a few years ago, didn't it? Like I, 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 I see why people are here. I mean, it's the center of the world. It's easy to get to for trade and business and all of that. And the celebrities, they've got to be everywhere. So why not Dubai? And also we've been talking about what an amazing place this is to live. And I think a lot of these artists are also just enjoying living here. It's easy. It's close to so many other countries that are, <laughs> Tom's like, I was getting that look from you, Tom. I'm I completely, like, no, I completely agree with you. But I think there's still that mindset, isn't it? If you want to make it in films, you go to Hollywood. You mm. know, that used to yeah, be right. the thing. If you want to make it in music, you go to London, you go to New York, you go to one of the big recording cities around the world. But what is really interesting mm -hmm. is how a lot of, not so much the, 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 the but the, the, almost the management talent is looking to set up uh, either uh, satellite offices here or bases here right. as well. And that's what I find really interesting because that shows you an indication to your point of the fact that they're using this as the geography to take it to a wider audience. If you want to make it in the Arab world, you come to Dubai. Yeah. Well, what's right. the interesting thing as well is, is, is I think is the pure hospitality of when these names come here. Yeah. And I think that is why, because they've never seen that like, the Arab hospitality is phenomenal. And so they come here and they absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, guess who's going to be telling us all about it and giving us the best advice? Our guest co-host today. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a celebrity in the UAE without her right by their side. Let's find out who it is. Hi, this is Sarah O'Malley, Wu, managing partner of Maven Marketing and Events. And I'm so excited to be co-hosting DXB today. Sarah is going to join us right here in, in fact, right here in a little bit. But first of all, bringing immersive experiences from Hungary to Dubai, we sent Lane Redman down to Hungarian Games, the world's first escape room, to find out if he can decode the answers to some mind-bending challenges. Let's take a look. Calling all gamers, puzzle enthusiasts, and escape room people who think you are good, this is the place to be because this is the original escape room place, the Hungarian games, board games, gourmet food, and all of the good stuff you need to do to bring down with your friends. Let's go. Raj, now I've been here for a long time in Dubai. I thought that I knew a lot of places uh, regarding old places, mm. but this has been around for a while and I didn't know about it. I think the challenge starts when you've got the map and you're finding a place and you're in our coos and then you're here and it's just like this hidden gem. Exactly, exactly. How did it come about, man? Yeah, that's the thing. And I think the puzzle starts from the get-go. when You find out about the place yeah. and you have to get to it. And the reason why we are called Hungarian Games is because the world's first escape room was built in Hungary by a company called Parapark back in 2011. 
So what other rooms have you got here, escape rooms? So the original room is there and our fan favorite for some reason is obviously the crime scene. <laughs> And then we have the most difficult room as well. And I can guarantee that it is the most difficult room. It's called Jailbreak. This is where you and your team are locked up in literal jail cells and you need to communicate together, work together to escape. So you've got all of these different escape rooms, but as soon as I walked in, I see a, a, a nice, different, eclectic looking cafe and a board game place right next door. Absolutely, so board game, we have a really special deal as well, where we want people to enjoy and not be too constrained by timing. So just for AD20, you can play for unlimited time at our board game cafe. And while you're at the cafe, I'm pretty sure you get hungry or thirsty. That's where we have our cafe as well. And something special about the cafe, it's a Scandinavian cafe. So we've got flavors from around the world under one roof. So Raj, here we are. So the original first escape room is here in Dubai. Which one is it out of the, the many different ones you have here? So another hidden part that we have is these two are identical rooms and they both are the world's first escape room. So that if you have a team of 10 to 12, we can lock you both up in and you can have a mini competition as well. One, two, one, two. Oh. One, two. Oh, it's on. Let's go. Oh, okay, 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 I'm ready. I did it. I managed to escape just about. Now, if you want to come down and sharpen your problem solving skills, this is the place to be, the Hungarian games. And then my reward is this lovely Scandinavian meal. Now, genuinely, Lane, if you are watching, please tell us who got you out this game? Yeah. <laughs> he never got out, did he? Is it Lane who cracked the code? Uh, he has, he's not on the show, is he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we are. Uh, from escaping rooms to, well, escaping to paradise here in Dubai. A land of opportunity, uh, certainly if you're in the world of entertainment. And that's certainly one of the sentiments of our guest co-host today, an award-winning pioneer behind entertainment marketing here in the MENA region, redefining global expansion through celebrity brand partnerships across emerging markets. Uh, Will Smith, Kobe Bryant, Ronaldinho, Trevor Noah, Idris Elba, could go on, might go on as well. Just a few of the big names that she's hosted right here in the region, having delivered several GCC firsts in the industry. Please welcome uh, the founder uh, and the managing director of Maven Global Access. It is uh, Sarah Madlawu who joins us live on the sofa. Sarah, so lovely to see you yet again. Thank you, good thanks, to be here. Thanks for being on board uh, and thank you for everything that you've done. I mean, we use that word pioneer so often, um, but you are a pioneer and you must have recognized something in the water here. What was it? back in the day when you came to this region that you went, you know, someone's not doing what I need to do. Yeah, I mean, I've been here since 2009 and back when people thought I was crazy when I first moved here from the US, they said, what are you doing over there? <laughs> like, you know, and it, I realized really quickly that there's a huge opportunity. We started just I was inviting some of my celebrity friends on holiday and they were like, whoa, this place is unbelievable. It's safe, it's beautiful. And I think from there, I realized quickly, like, there's a gap in the market. No one's really bringing in celebrities to experience it. And but somehow you're still that person. It's not like everyone's followed in your foot. There's still something that you've got some secret recipe to share with us. <laughs> you're still that person who's known for bringing all the celebrities to the UAE. What are you, what are you doing right? I cannot tell you the secret recipe. Otherwise, <laughs> you, know, I, you know, it's not going to be a secret anymore. But, but I can tell you a big part of it is relationships, yeah. right? I think relationships, a lot of hard work, 
honoring um, our word and what we do. We're, we're gonna deliver a lot of people come out here, um, you know, to experience and they wanna make sure they do have a good and authentic experience. It's not just about taking photos next to the Burj Khalifa. It's mm. about meeting people while you're here and experiencing the culture and, and, and interacting mm. with the locals. And that's mm. where people feel like they get an understanding of the region. Mm. Do you think it's as well, used as a do they use it as a stepping stone as well when they come here are they looking to do even more business when they're here do you think 100 percent. i think that's one of the ways our business has evolved um, we started off um you know we were approached by dubai tourism when we started bringing celebrity friends over to experience it and you know they said this is a bit different what you're doing because back then social media was just starting so celebrities could come and actually document their stories so the very first celebrity dubai tourism paid for was through our agency. That's phenomenal. And, and who, who was that? that? It yeah. was funny enough, Kamora Lee Simmons. It was for Dubai Summer Surprises back in 2011. Wow. <laughs> and she came, she did a fashion show, she interacted, she uh, designed some abayas and brought her KLS line out. And then that went on to we started doing celebrity pop-up shops with Jaden and Willow Smith and uh, Zendaya and yeah. uh, you know uh, it, a lot of it was for Dubai tourism and their shopping festivals to start off and to your point celebrities realize hey there's a market to actually bring our brands out here yeah well, I get the celebrity uh, in the endorsement and as you so nicely said earlier you know why wouldn't you want to come here yeah. uh, building a bit of holiday a little bit of exploring the, the region for the first time what about brands though as well is there a sort of education process for you to sort of certain brands get say jump on and say get me a celebrity Sarah I need a celebrity to be my brand ambassador and endorse us um, but it's got to be the right celebrity surely 100% I mean brands here I think they realize in order to really get their name globally yeah. across you have to add that little bit of sizzle that celebrities bring Vox Cinema as y'all were talking about how movie premieres are now coming and actually being premiered in Dubai we were the first agency to premiere a movie in Dubai it was Will Smith um, for Suicide Squad mm -hmm. and it was Vox Cinemas was the client and they said we're launching the biggest cinema in the region and we want to have the world know about it so you know we ended up uh, it was probably a couple of years after we hosted Jaden Willow mm. and had a conversation with Will's team and they said let's do it uh, and came over and launched Vox Cinemas. He loves coming over here doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. He, he has a base here doesn't he? Probably has a don't Sarah's not going to tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> but I wanted to ask because you brought up this premiere and I remember the press conference for that and I asked Will Smith how do we as Muslims as Arabs get more representation in movies and something he said which I want to ask you about is well you kind of got to go out and tell your own stories so what can we be doing here right now to kind of get more of our own reach get more of our own representation in the UAE and abroad because I feel like you might have some of those answers as well. Yeah, I think that's an important point. A lot of people, they want to mimic the West, but what's actually going global when you look at Afrobeats mm. and things, it's, it's taking the culture of what you're in and maybe mixing it with a bit of what's going on in the West, but maintaining that culture. So for, if I was an artist in, from Dubai or the region, I would definitely try and be, be the one trying to create what is the Arab beats that goes global and viral throughout the world, as opposed to trying to mimic what's in the States and bring that here. Mm. What about in terms of you, the way your company has evolved so much? Mm. You've gone from PR for celebrities yeah. to, I mean, investments and all sorts. Like, Tell us about how that's happened. Yeah, I think as an entrepreneur, you have to evolve. And then we were in an emerging market. I mean, I've been in Dubai now for 15 years and this place is evolving yeah. on the next level. So we, in order to kind of make sure that we stay pioneers and first movers, we've done everything from, you know, starting off, like you said, handling PR mm -hmm. for talent, then we were handling, you know, destination marketing for Dubai tourism and Abu Dhabi tourism. And now we've pivoted because now this region, <laughs> people know about it and they're looking to invest here. So we're now having, helping celebrity brands actually come in and bring their brands across. Um, Tyra Banks is a good example. Yeah. I think you were a part of that launch where we brought her, her brand over um, to the region. Now she has four locations in the UAE. Yeah. Is it only going to grow though? I mean, given your experience, seeing, what, see, seeing the interest out there in the market, is this something that we only need to scratch on the surface at the moment? Definitely, really? definitely. I think we're just at the very beginning. It's even though Dubai has come mm -hmm. such a long way because you have the whole region now, mm -hmm. right? And, you ha and, and there's no longer that fear of the unknown. People want to explore. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful part of the world. It's so Absolutely. safe. And it's, and it's the weather is gorgeous. Eight months out of the year, 
You don't need to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're here. We're here. We're, we're here. here. Yeah. Guess what? We're, we're doing here. an entire show we're about here. it. Well, Sarah, I think I've got about 50 more questions for you, but we are going to have to pause this on conversation because we do have a break. We're glad to keep you on as a guest co-host, so don't go anywhere. Uh, coming up, we're finding out the stages to producing high-quality content for global artists and leading brands with the founder of I Am Entertainment. Stay right there. <laughs>